us this, this and all that. Well, I would never have been this, let the enemy begin. Now it's really I'm again, and it's becoming a trend. Now I'm really trying to tend it. I ain't never said this. Now you never can forget it, and I bet that you don't never show them the post saying that I was. Once you got the tracing down, now you're going to do the stone, which is on the bottom of the whole building. So get your stone out, and for right now, just trace it on the whole entire pathway of this stuff. Okay? So just get your stone and trace it all around for right now. And go to the corners, only like this corner, and this one too for right now. Raise these up 82 blocks, okay? So in total, you need 83, so 1 and then 2. So you need 83 blocks in total up, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, you know, all the way to, you need 82 of these. So we should be right about there you go. And do that for that one too. You can already see what we're gonna do right now for the sides only. This is on the long side, okay? So long side is gonna be on this side, short sides are over there. So bring these up together. Just like this, do that on the other side too. Got the frames like there in place. Now go to the front, whatever side you picked as the front, okay? So the front's on this side in our case. So go right here next to the brick, of course, and take out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then go one block away. Then take out five. One, two, three, four, five. Go one block away again. Then go by five again. Three, four, five. And then now get one block away and put three. Then again, three. Then three again. Three again. Three again. And finally three again. Do this exact pattern on the other side. So you're on the wall, of course, right here. Get rid of seven right here. Then five. Then five again. And then three all the way to hit the back like that and you can tell from here just to get a head start just raise the cord bricks all the way to the top of the frame for each single stone okay so put a cord on each single stone and raise it up to the height of the frame for right now once you get the lines up there to get the frame ready now for this part we're going to go skip 9 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. On the 10th one, you put your quartz. Making sure, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yep. On the 10th one, you put the line, and then again on top like this. Just right now, just, you know, to know where to put the windows and the other windows. So for the big windows, it's 3 glass right here. Then a chiseled sandstone on top. Then for these big ones right here only, these ones get are a little different. Raise it up by four. You can already see from there what to do, so raise them up by four. And then the middle you put five. Then you put a little right there. And then for this one. Same thing again, put little T's. There should be three in the middle. Same height as this window. Then the, the sandstone, then these little three windows. Of course, you do the same thing on this one. Now for these little ones, it's three up, then sandstone, then 
and three up again. That's when you put the quartz, obviously. So in total, it should look like this for the bottom. Okay. And the quartz right here obviously tells you where to stop. See? Once you got the big windows in place, now we're going to do the tiny ones. So the tiny ones are going to be just two up of glass, then one quart, then two up of glass again, and this time chiseled all the way up. And it's just glass, chiseled, jet glass, chiseled, glass, chiseled, all the way up. It's just this one with the quartz only. And they're all going to be one space away from each other. See? So it's this exact same pattern all the way up. Okay? So remember, just chiseled and glass over and over. All the way up. Should end up with a glass at the very top. And replace that with a chisel. So continue this pattern, which should be really simple like this, just a bunch of chiseled and glass. And make sure the bottom one is just, you know, quartz, okay? Alright, once you got the sides of the building done, it should look like this for both sides. Now we're going to do the very front, okay? The front is over here. So the front's going to be a little different from the sides, just a tiny bit. So go to the wall again. Now get rid of seven once again, like you did before. Do that for the other side too. So get rid of seven of the stone. Keep three stone here. And then just making sure. Keep three stone and then get rid of three next to it. So three stone. Get rid of the other three. And then get rid of five. Wait. Uh, then you're going to want to keep two. And get rid of five right in the middle. Should look like this. So seven right here, with glass, three stone, three glass, two stone, five gap, two stone, three glass, three stone, seven gap. Here they give you just a view from up here. Just like this. Now raise the glass up to the same height as you did before. And for the quartz, same thing for right now. And the gap, of course, you leave by itself. Okay. And the glass for this one, they're just going to be just normal rectangles. There's no little arches on these ones. So raise it up. The exact same height as, you know, same glass height as that one. So one, two, three, four, five. Quartz two. And just like before, you put the quartz right above it. Connected them like this. Now for the arch in the middle, it's going to look like this, just a simple, you know, three in the middle and then two on the side. So in this case, go in the middle, knock out three, and da-da, like that. Okay, what have you done this side, you do on this side, and just bring the quartz right now to the same height, exact height as these walls right here, okay? So bring your quartz up, which are these ones, to the same height as those right now. Once you raise them up to the same height as the sides, now for the windows, they are going to be one block away, like again. And for the middle one, there's going to be two. Like this, okay? So for here, two windows there, and in the middle, it's going to be three windows. So one, two, three, like that. 
And of course, they're going to be exact same style as the ones on the side. Raise them up by two, put quartz right next to them, then core on top, then bring it up again and put chisel. And of course, repeat the process over and over. So it should look like this in the front. Right now, just, you know, you have to tell what part we're on from right there. And we'll do the back. Once you got the front and sides done, now we're going to do the back. So for the back, you know, starting from the brick right here is 15, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. On the 16 one, break it. And same thing over here, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, right there. 2, 3, so 7 should be right here, okay? 7 spacing right there. Put quartz on both sides. Get rid of the stone down here. Put glass instead. Now the back is going to be very simple compared to all the other sides for right now. For the back, it's just the exact same height as everything else. And same style. It's a little bit different, just a little bit. You can take, see a bit of it from there. So raise them up to the same height as the other windows. Instead of putting chisel, you're going to put quartz in the back. And then raise them up again. S same height as these windows. Just all glass. Bring the quartz up. Put the two quart layer. Now this time we're going to put three layers of quartz. So this is two, three, and same over here. Three layers of quartz. Then put glass there, space away, glass there, space, glass, space, glass, space, glass. Then put your quartz right between them. Put your glass right on top of them. Then do it again with the quartz. And then do it again. There too, and there. Put your glass there again. Then put your chisel. Of course you should know by now what to do. Just raise these up to the same height as the walls again. And we'll get ready for the next part. Alright, once you got them done like this, now you want to go inside of them by 18. So this is 1, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 right here. Now these windows are inside, they're going to be a little different. So it's block, three, block, three, block, three, block, three, block, and then one. And in real life they're covered right here because there's a piece of, you know, structure right covering this part. But for those who just want the building by itself about that structure blocking it in real life, it's gonna look like this underneath. Okay, so just for right now, be fast. Just do this. So 18 right here, and then right here for the middle. So we're gonna want this. So through there a stone, through there a stone, through there a stone, through there a stone, and then finally a glass. Same height as last time. For those who want the real life feel, the stone goes right there and then later we'll do the structure for, you know, next video with the Park Avenue, with the 30 Park Place. So the stone goes right here on the top layer of the white quartz. Okay, for those who want it. Okay, and then... You already know what to do, right, of course. And then 
for this part, it's the same exact style as you've been doing the whole time. And of course, it copies what we did down there, going up. Of course, with these ones, they're, you know, in fours. So they're right here. So glass, quart, glass, quart, glass, quart, and glass. Oh. So this pattern going up in the same style as these, so you should know what to do already by now. Same height as that. We should end up looking like this. Alright, once you got the whole entire one stack of the building done like this, now we're going to do the little copper right there to get ready for the you know next pieces. So get your copper out go one block inside the building and just drag it all the way to the other side like this and then do it again go dragging one on top of it cover it up there then raise it up again making a little staircase and then drag it all the way up to there again now for the front it's going to look like this. So for the front, it's going to be 7 right there, then 6, then a 5. So this is 5 already, so 6, 7. Like that. Of course, same thing on this side too. So it should be 7 right there. five right there and then finally six on top all right so seven six and then five on top there you go of course drag it away there again for those like copper a lot <laughs> you're gonna enjoy the sound for those who don't well then you know. Alright, check like that. We're right here. So now for this side in the front, go six blocks away. So three, four, five, six. On the seven one, break it. And then make it. 7 again, make a 7 again, so 3, 6, 7. Put your quartz between it. Then raise the sides up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2, 3, 4, 5. Of course, fill these in. And then go on top and put five on top, then three, then a one. Now, at the very bottom, go two away, the well, third one, break them, same thing on this one too, put glass, and then go two blocks up, then break the other two on top, and just do this pattern over there on that side too. And once you got once you got that done, get your stone out, make it three on top of the copper. So make it three by four. Yep, three by four. And then get your copper and extend it just two blocks up. Look like this, and then bring it to the same way as the stone. Then go up from that and put two on top of one another, like this. Then put the stone by three, same style as the stone over there. So it should be three by six. And then back here, do the same pattern. So 
Let's see. So it should look like this. And then your stone is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for right now. It should match up to the copper. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it'd be, it should be 7 by 4. Now each side is a little different, so to give you an idea, just to give you a, a head start, it should look like this. So left side should look like this. Right side should be the opposite of that. Okay. So in our case, on the right side, go one block underneath the copper. Bring it all the way back here for right now. Then get your gray concrete, one block above that. Then get your stone out again, make it three stones instead. And then finally make it gray concrete once again. Then get your one stone. It should match up to the exact same way as the gray concrete. Now for the other side of the the back with the copper, same style again. This time it should be three. So it should look like this. Now we're doing this side, okay? This one, you know, is obvious. You did that already. Still so we're doing this side. So three down, then two stacked up one on top of each other. Like that. And just making sure, let's see. So one layer right there, then two on top. So one layer is obviously right here. Then two right here. The copper should match up to the gray line so it'd be right about here and of course this one too and yeah you can see right there the stone right between them with the quartz so bring them out so one two three four five both sides then get your stone Stone should be about five there. Making sure. Yep. So of course, just to do things faster, just look at this pattern for right now. Left and right. Okay. All right. Once you got both in, in place, of course, mine is obvious. <laughs> I'm just gonna get you guys ready for this part. Just you know, be to get things done fast. So get your cord out. Put it right there. Right next to the co the copper, just look like this. You know, next to the coppers. Then extend the windows, of course, up again with the quartz too going up with it. Then do it again. And then put quartz right on top of that. So she have two windows going up again with the quartz right on top. Put two little blocks on the edges. And then for the side here, make it the exact same, you know, length. Actually, no, like it. So three here, and so she have five right there. So it's two, then three, then a four, then a five. Same thing on this side too. And 
and over here, same length as the one in front of you. This time it's all covered in quartz. Then get your stone out and put it right on the chiseled. Okay, so you can do that for you're gonna do that for both sides like this. So I'll let you guys get that done. Once you got all that set up, now we're gonna do the tower itself going up. So go to the copper, any side you want of the front of the copper. Go next to it, place your first block down right here, just for now to get the tracing ready. Raise it up by 39. So this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 39. Okay, so 39 blocks tall. Okay, so 39. 39 blocks tall. So just wrap it around the building. It should be a giant square. So it should fit in here too. Now, the sides are going to be the exact same. So, three layers of quartz here. Then, of course, you skip. I mean, uh, then you put the glass there. You chiseled like you did before this whole entire time. So, it's going to be the same pattern as you go up all the way. It's just right here is when you put gray concrete. So, you can see from right there how much right there. So, you know, chisel, glass, chisel and then glass and then gray concrete right there so to get it done fast it's just chiseled here to glass chisel and then glass and then finally gray, con gray concrete and then glass again then chiseled and you know all the way down you know <laughs> you already know the pattern already so just copy this pattern of this design on this side too and in the back you know they're all the same exact you know way then put quartz two blocks tall on the corners like this and we'll get ready for the next step alright once you got the tall piece of the tower done now we're gonna get your stone out put it on the same line as the chiseled trace around it by one then get your quartz out this time we're gonna make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fifteen. So fifteen blocks tall, okay? So go inside the stone like this. Raise it up by fifteen. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, and fifteen. So fifteen blocks tall. For right now just trace the square on top. You can receive from there what the style is going to be, so just make it three quartz, then glass right here, two quartz, then a glass, then one quart, one glass, one quart, and then over here, same thing, three, then a one, then a two, and then finally a one. So you should have this pattern right here. Of course, the same exact style, all, you know chisel quartz and then add two up here so just you know do that for right now so you can get ready for the next piece all right once you got the next part already in place now we're going to do the very next part which is the actual famous piece of all of them so put stone again like you did before down there by one once you got that put your glass then a quart then a glass Go in the other corner, same thing, glass, core, and glass. And then once again over here. So just glass and quart for right now in the corners. Because you can see from there what we're going to do. We're going to do the, you know, the pillars kind of. Okay. So for right now for the pillars, as, as you know, obviously. 
You're going to need one, two, three, four. Four glass up of that. So cover them up with quartz. So you're going to need four of those. So this is two, three, and then four. course over here on the same thing and then finally stack up three of these without the, the glass so three right there and then in here too so I should click that do this for all four of them wet them up like this of course cover the very top of them like this making a little you know Okay, like that. Now we're gonna do this part right here, which you can see. I know there's a little, there's some uh, chisel quartz right there, so you can add those if you want. So, go back in here, go behind the glass, and then make it two, then glass, then one, then one quart, one glass, one quart, glass, and then two quarts. Shook like this. And you're going to want to raise it up by 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 blocks tall. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Of course, top layer is quartz. Two glass. Then a chisel, then two glass again, then chiseled, and then two glass. Do that for the four sides. All right. Once you got the wall in place, now we're going to do the the copper. So whatever you do on one side, you do on the other three sides. So for the copper, raise it up by three, round top of the quartz. So one, two, three. And for right now, just you know, fill it in. Get your glass ready. So, two blocks away, put one, 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 and then course like that. So, it should be right here. So, one here, one here, one here. Then go two blocks away on top, put two, then two again, and then put glass right there. Now, go behind that. Stack up by two, right there. Now for the next part, that's right behind this, which you just did. So three right there, three again, then one on top. So three again, and then three again. So, so three here. Then a glass right there. A glass right there. Should look like a little face right there. And then finally add five up top. Three, four, and then five. Right between them, you're going to put another face, basically. So like this. Making like a smiley face, kind of. And then... You can already see what we're going to do right here. I'll just leave it right here so you guys can already get the idea. Okay. So just cover this, basically. And go behind this one. So it should be three right there. Then add two more, giving that four. And go in the middle, add three. Then a one. Then two, put two right there. Should be two away from the other one, like that. And then put one way up there.
then cover these. Which are three right there. Hmm. That's how you do it like this. So you should have this. The copper covers it up. And just make it five on top. Cover that part too. So five by three. Then go in by that. Leave it like this and then for the corners put two. Then go in the middle. Check like this so far. And add two. Then finally get your prismarine block and add four. So one, two, three, four. So whatever you do on this side, you do on the other three sides. So just give you a view. Just do this pattern on the other three sides, okay? And that's it.